I'm working to get endorsements and I realize a lot of people think there's no way this guy can win. What's the point in, in, in voting for him? And what I'll tell you is we can win this thing in a week if everyone gets on board. So why should you vote for me? I'm clearly this mean person that wants to be a war criminal that really enjoys having freaking 30 followers and then spouting off this view that we should kill certain people like the Saudis because they have tons of kids and they're shitty people. So why should you vote for me? Well, my entire life I've been an activist. When I was in college, I boycotted Walmart because I read that they weren't letting their greeters sit down. Now, I have nowhere to go but Walmart, pretty much. I mean, I guess I could go to Target, but I don't even know where Target is. So, I, at the same time, I was boy boycotting North Face because I didn't like their factory conditions. So this is something that's happening overseas. I didn't use Nike shoes until like, probably like four or five years ago. I'm talking about my entire life. And why, why, didn't, why didn't I? Because I heard they had bad conditions in their, in their uh, manufacturing facilities, in their sweatshops. I'm the type of person that actually cares about people in Asia and people all over the world, not just in the United States. And I've been an activist for him. I, I, I protested Israelis building a wall through Palestinian farmland, which took away tons of farmland in Beline. And the Israelis ended up changing the direction of the wall, um, not just because of me, because a lot of people went out there and protested and got hit with tear gas and got hurt pretty bad. So I, um, when I was at Baylor, I lobbied Airmark to stop price gouging because they set up their meal plans so that freshmen were required to have a meal plan, but then you had to have, you didn't have a certain amount of meals. You had, I have 18 meals per week, so I have to eat 18 meals per week, but no one could eat their 18 meals per week. So it was a way of tricking you into paying, paying them for food that you're not gonna eat, which is a very smart business tactic but I thought it was unethical. So I went to the president of Baylor, I went to an, a business ethics professor, and we got the meal plans changed, and then now I think the meal plans are changed back because I left Baylor. That's kind of how life works. Um, businesses need little tricks to take your money, even if those tricks are unethical. I'm against those tricks. And that's why I've been an activist for stopping companies from doing that sort of thing. I, um, recent activism, I went to Las Vegas and handed out papers telling everyone how to catch NSA hackers. And on the way, a guy told me the United States government doesn't negotiate with terrorists. Cause I said, Hey, if you guys want me to, um, not talk about this, you need to let me move out of my house. Cause I can't work in cybersecurity. Cause I don't want to talk about this hacking thing. Cause I was scared because the NSA scared me. It felt like intimidation. It felt like they really wanted me to go to grad school and to never actually learn anything ever again. But I was going to learn stuff. I was going to learn cybersecurity, but <clears throat> I wasn't going to learn real cybersecurity. Real cybersecurity is classified, and it's really hard to know stuff without um, being behind the scenes. So I went to Las Vegas. I told pretty much everyone how to catch government hackers, and uh, Las Vegas was very scary on New Year's. There were, there were a lot of people there. Um, I another form of activism. I starved myself for 47 days protesting the FBI, giving free drugs to middle schoolers, but it's all, it was more than anything, it was the FBI people's kids like being insane, like uh, raping and stuff like that. And it's basically a Stanford prison experiment, but with no cameras and they, they like passionately hate the prisoners. Like they have a reason to hate them. These people sell drugs, they're bad. They belong in prison. They belong in a bunk next, next to a guy who's going to grab his head constantly and be like, suck my dick and push his head up to the, your crotch, to his crotch. And then the other guy's going to try to fight you just because you're there. That's, that's what you deserve because you do drugs. No, I, I actually just drive drugs. Oh, then you really deserve it. That's how we deal with things in our country. So I starved myself and... 
the government's worked really hard to cover it up. So um, I'm, I guess, a mentally ill person, according to the government. But for some reason, I have this picture of my, my SoundCloud, which had negative one listens when I first started. And I had 2,000 Facebook friends and everyone knew me. Like I, I, People used to like me. They don't like me anymore. Like I have realized it. I am not a likable person. That's why I'm sitting here running for president. It's like, what's the point? Um, it's because I have nothing else. That's what's the point. Like I, I like once you realize no one likes you and you're like, well, um, what am I gonna do? I, I mean, what am I gonna do? I, I've got to keep moving forward. So now I'm an advocate advocate for people that are in jail and prison because. Um, that dude who has, who got in trouble cause he probably stuck some drugs up his ass. And then when, when he took the drugs out, he got caught by the, by the sheriff's department. Now he's stuck in jail, like indefinitely, basically, because if he ever does drugs again, he's going to get another charge or he's going to get a charge for fighting cause someone's going to attack him and he'll get third degree assault. If he wins the fight, you're not allowed to win a fight even if you get attacked. So, but his life is this giant black guy named Scarpone grabbing his head and pushing it into his crotch and be like, suck my dick. That was the biggest reason I decided to fight Scarpone. I didn't like, I wasn't like, I'm gonna go call him a bitch. What I actually did was the moment he, he told me, stop walking back and forth. Like he was trying to control me. Like he, he like had done multiple times. And that's when I, I just took off my socks cause I would never fight with my socks on in jail. You're never going to get any, you're never going to land a strong punch. And then he walked away. But, um, I don't think that that's what jail should be like. I don't think that in jail, you should have to decide to fight the scariest black guy because not everyone is me. Like my dad was a serious athlete and I'm a pretty serious athlete. All right. So I'm an advocate for drug addicts because the last thing in the world, I mean, actually jail could actually stop you from drugs if you get terrorize that bad. But, um, I also think jail can make you do drugs more because right now all I want to do is like, like I, I, I drank the other day and I don't, I don't drink. Um, and now I want to drink again. And it's like, I want to escape reality somehow because it's been it, like reality has been that brutal. So I'm for changing how we deal with drugs big time. All right. So I'm obviously I'm for gun rights because like the founding fathers, if there's anything they didn't imagine, it's the government trying to murder someone by taking away their gun. Oh wait, yeah, they did. And that's why they put it in the constitution. And so um, this whole government thinks you're crazy. And so you have to go rep and rip in jail to the point that like people are like stabbing each other because they're trying to like, because these guys are going after me and then my people I don't even know are stabbing people like, because the government doesn't know he exists. I, I, he has to deal with his problems himself. So I'm going to put him into the problems that he, he has been staying out of because I don't, I don't see it, but really I know exactly what's going on. I'm trying to get him murdered, but then I don't know that you're, I don't know that you did that. I can't see that your SoundCloud was censored specifically to hide that Robert Mueller got fired. I can't see that the timestamps have been changed on your Facebook messages. I'm just, I'm just saying like, that's reality. So more than anything, I'm an activist for the planet because um, when you're a clone and you think your genetics are going to be on this planet in, in a thousand years, you're the most radical protector of the planet of all. It's, you have to think about my, my psychology. I'm not concerned with my genetic genetics being passed down. That's not like because I, I have selfish genes. I'm concerned about my own like ability to clone myself in the future. And I'm, I'm concerned with my clone's ability to survive on this planet. So I'm very greedy for this planet. And so I was a environmentalist before, and now I'm a radical environmentalist. And um, that means I'm going to do what it takes to cut oil consumption in half. I'm going to try to use all the oil on the planet to build a society that doesn't need oil. And that's what really, really what my activism is about. It's about figuring out how to do it without oil and trying to make it as big as possible. We can put as many people there as possible um, and making that place enjoyable. Um, so yeah, that's why you should vote for me because I'm actually an activist. Joe Biden, he's a, um, let me put on a suit and have you worship me. Like his, forever he's been worshiped. And what I'm telling you is like, 
brain-wise, night and day. I'm a million times smarter than that guy. I'm a, like, if you want someone to make things beautiful, hire me. Hire someone that's like Donald Trump, but better.